This is the Huion Canvas 12 uh, screen tablet that uh, I'm testing for possibly recom uh, recommending it to class for what's affordable uh, option for uh, screen tablet drawing for 2D animation or illustration. So this is what came in a box basically. It's just everything that you see here in the back. It didn't come with the, uh, this is the one with the uh, uh, stand. Uh, there's uh, kind of like a two uh, skew for this. One is uh, just the tablet and one with the stand. So I think with the stand it's 20 bucks more. But they're running some uh, uh, coupon and discounts right now when you, um, when you purchase these. So uh, this one comes with that three-in-one cable. Uh, if you have an older, let's say, computer with HDMI and you're needing some USB 3.0 connection. However, um, if you buy the Canvas 16, it comes with a US, uh, USB-C. This one does not. So I ended up uh, getting the USB-C by, um, by the same company um, because uh, I watched some review uh, uh, of this tablet and they said a regular USB-C doesn't properly fit. Or it's not deep enough or something so i didn't want to take a risk so i ended up uh, just ordering the cable from them the reason why i'm using a usb-c and not the one that came with it is this is just one cable to plug in to usb-c on your computer to power the display and to connect it so it's a it's a really clean setup in my opinion um, i've used almost all the wacom tablets including their all-in-ones companions and pros um the cable is always the issue um even with the all-in-one when you want to use it as a screen plug into a more powerful computer it's just a mess so hopefully this one would work i haven't tried it yet so this one is discounted i think 30 bucks if you buy it on its own but it's 60 percent off if you buy it together with the um, with a tablet okay so basically tablet pen pen holder three in one some gloves so on and so forth so uh, let's get started with uh, unboxing it all right so this is the screen so i just opened the box just now so kind of didn't have a tripod set up here so it's a little challenging to record this and not read at the same time all right so there's the tablet um let's see what else is out uh, this is the stand right here uh pen pen holder if you open this there's like lots of nibs typical if you're uh kind of even whack on you know their pen holder it would have all those nibs so you can replace it um that usually takes a while for me to wear out that nib um and drivers information about it, and the uh the glove so i have gloves for the wacom pre uh uh you know bought it like a third party so it kind of prevents you from smudging your screen and all that so there's uh there's an advantage to uh, using uh gloves all right so it's pretty straightforward you got your gloves right there the cable is over here for the three in one which i will not bother to even open because i got that USB C. that's the three in one the stand the actual screen, the pen, and the pen uh, holder. All right, so let's uh, open those up. So I just unwrapped everything here. Uh, this is the screen, the stand, that's the cable, pen, and pen holder. Um, if you, uh, just like me, before you purchase anything, you probably did a ton of research. Uh, one of the things they mentioned is that on the screen here, it has a matted uh, protection, but this one is the protection from packaging. So you simply peel that off and then unravel this, then you get your uh, matted screen. And um, But um, someone mentioned that if you did this wrong, this will actually peel, including the matted protection that's underneath this plastic protection from the packaging so be careful when you 
uh, pull this so that you don't end up grabbing both and um, uh, unraveling or, uh, you know, ruining the uh, matted one, right? So uh, let's take a look here. This is the stand. Um, it probably has kind of like a limited um, uh, positions uh, that you can... Uh, um, certain angles all right so I'm probably gonna have to use both hands for this one and it's difficult to do with one hand recording um, let me put this down and then I'll come back and have those things raised up all right finally was able to open that up so basically you just snap it open like so then you have this kind of leg different option for different height you pull it back like so and you have different uh, uh, in a way ledge right here where the stand can go and that's your viewing angle right there and you pull this down to catch the actual tablet basically put this like this and do your drawing okay so i was really careful with this peeling it off and i think i got it right as you can see this little tab right here is uh, uh, pulling the uh, screen um, the packaging protector and what's underneath is another film protector the matted one to kind of give you um what do you call this um anti-glare and more like paper like uh, surface to draw on Okay, so there it is. It's there. And you're supposed to take this off. Some people actually use this on top, but it's too uh, slippery, too glossy. Okay, so there it is. That's the screen. And uh, I'm going to plug it in and see how it works. Got the USB C plug directly onto the Mac take a look now I'm gonna power it on all right this is it kind of booting and then there it is so um, the screen is actually a lot uh, lower resolution of course the the Mac is a 5k retina screen this one is uh, 1080p so it's 1920 by 1080 and I think that's the perfect resolution for sizes like this, even all the way up to 16, um, if you buy the 16 inch uh, version, um, simply because uh, you don't want those icons shrinking too little uh, when you have a high, uh, when you're trying to do a high resolution, uh, it, they're very difficult to click and whatnot. So, all right, so I just need to make some modification on the screen. Okay, so um, let me kind of, continue uh, using the, the Mac at this point so I'm gonna switch here let's take a look at um, our options let's see if we can do a mirror so a display and uh, arrangement right here I can mirror the display and I want the canvas to be the uh, the dominant one all right so that means it's one-to-one -one Mac to the drawing tablet all right so um, now so this one is down the rest to 1080 1080p at this point all right so I can just close this so whatever I do on this one it just kind of mimics right here all right let's take a look here let me move it a little bit over here i'm trying to maximize the screen right here i mean the table sorry for um for how i work with this when i'm doing the drawing because this is a very slim table and that's the whole point of uh, can't fit the 27 inch uh, rack on here it fits but can't do anything else all right i haven't configured the driver or anything i'm just checking it right now one to one with the screen um haven't done the driver, so functionality on this probably is not going to be uh, working right now and the button mapping. Okay, so I'll take care of that and then come back. I'm able to configure the pen 
uh, and all the uh, express keys right there so it should work very similar to how I work in Blender using a mouse and just to kind of give it a, a demo here um, let me just pick a, a, an ink pen right here 100% strength pressure sensitivity is running hence those buttons are on strength is off and it feels very much like a vacuum to me it's uh it's very responsive um lag uh i am using a uh, you know a decent uh um um iMac pro for its age uh so it's you know, there's a slight lag in there, and it's kind of, if you've used Cintiqs before and whatnot, you'll be familiar with it. Parallax, it's almost, it's a, I would say a tiny bit, but I would say that it's not really an issue. It's pretty much like drawing on contact, you know. So, and for animation and for the purpose of uh, this one and portability and size i think i really like this i would actually much prefer the smaller one uh, than the 16 inch which is almost double the price so uh, you're gaining uh, about four inches actually not 16 i think it's 15 and a half but and i don't think this is 12 it is 11 and something so uh, they're rounding off numbers so um i'll have a full detailed review uh in uh, relation to using blender okay i'm not going to be reviewing this for the purpose of using it for anything else other than blender sculpting and blender and uh, grease pencil in blender and basic modeling in blender like um, not using the mouse and using the pen instead okay and then i'll have a much better uh, um, feel for the uh, for the pen and how the screen works after i've done a few uh, uh, animations with it all right, so I'm ending this kind of, I don't know what you call it, unboxing and first test. I just want to make sure it runs kind of deal and uh, an alternative to a Wacom tablet. All right, thank you for watching.